In this video, you will learn all about the Blend Tool in Adobe Illustrator. What's going on everyone? My name is Tom from Dreadlabs and I'm a graphic designer and visual artist. And in this video series, I wanna teach you the basics of Adobe Illustrator. And let's start out with the Blend Tool. Blend Tool is a very powerful tool within Adobe Illustrator that can transform two or more of your shapes and basically blend them together. You've probably already seen this in action in a lot of design work. So without any further ado, let's dive straight into the video and I'll explain you all about the Blend Tool. All right, so we're gonna start out with some fairly basic shapes here in Adobe Illustrator. I'm gonna select the first two and show you how the blend tool works. You can find it in the tools menu up here. And once you've selected your blend tool, all you need to do is click on the first shape and the second shape, and it will automatically create a blend for you. So it's fairly straightforward how this works. There's basically a certain amount of steps which roughly translates the square slowly into the circle. And this will basically work on all types of shapes, even more complicated ones. All right, let's select the second two shapes here. And another way you can create blends is by going to object at the top menu, go to blend, make. You can also press control alt B or command option B on your keyboard. So let's do that one more time with the bottom ones. I hold control alt B and this will create a blend for us. So if you hold your mouse over the blend, you can also see that there's a line between the two shapes. And we can see the same thing in the layer menu here. Basically a blend consists of the two shapes that we blended together, as well as the path. The path is the line which you can see here. And like any other path in Illustrator, you can actually manipulate this. So for example, if we grab the pen tool and click on the path where the pen tool turns into a plus, you'll add a point to that path. Now go to the direct selection tool and if we move this point around, you can see that we can actually manipulate the way that the blend works. We can also do this by pressing shift C on our keyboard and this will bring up the anchor point tool. And now we can smoothen this line out as well. And this will create for some fairly interesting experiments. Another thing that we can look into are the blend options. So let's just remove this for a second. On the middle one here, I'm gonna delete these other two. And we're just gonna add in a nice little arc. So if you go to object, blend, blend options, you can also change the orientation of your shapes. So if you press this option, you can see that these shapes are going along with the path rather than just staying in the same orientation. There's also other options for spacing, which I'm gonna go into right now. So let's move on to another artboard here. And I also quickly wanna show you that you can create a blend out of multiple shapes. So it's fairly difficult to see, but there's a really dark star figure here. I made this really simply with an ellipse. And then I went to distort and transform, plucker and bloat, and I put a plucker and bloat of minus 60% if you wanna recreate it for yourself. So if we select all three shapes here, and uh, we go to object, blend, make, or you can just use the blend tool, anything like that. You can see that there's now a blend between three shapes here. You've probably expected that this path would go another way. And the reason why it's going this way is if we open up the blend tool, when we, once we made the blend, the purple shape, which is at the top in the middle here, was actually at the top. So that's where the blend starts. Then it goes to the middle one, and then it goes to the green one, which is the bottom one. So let's just, Ctrl Z for a second, and let's see in the layer menu what the order is and we'll change this. So we'll move the purple ellipse here to the middle. And now if we make the blend again, you can see that the orientation or the path along the blend is, has changed. So if you get weird blends, it's probably the orientation in the layer menu that you need to change. So let's go back to object, blend, blend options. Let's talk about the spacing here. The smooth color is basically the basic form of the blending. You can also just press in specified steps and this is the amount of steps that you have between each point. So as you can see, there's now two blend parts between the actual shapes that we had before we started using the blend tool. And if we increase this, you can see that there's just more incoming. And the nice thing about this is that you have full control over how many stars you want. And this works especially well in logo design and stuff like that. But let's say that we wanna have a smooth color in between these. I usually go for a specified distance spacing. 
As you can see, now there's just four pixels in between each one. I'll just keep it at two for now. As you can see, there's now a smooth color in between these. And if we start playing with the path by, for example, smoothening this out, you can get some fairly interesting shapes. Another thing in the blend options that you can do is you can reverse the spine. And as you can see, this will basically just inverse the spaces of the blend. You can also reverse the front to the back. And if this loads, you can see that now the green star is at the front of the whole blend, if that makes sense. <laughs> so with the blend tool, you can actually create some fairly interesting shapes, paths, but also some fairly interesting 3D looking shapes. So here we have a more complicated example. This is a simple blend between a piece of text I'm just gonna actually release this blend. So if you are not satisfied with your blend, you can just go to blend and then release. And now you can see what the basics of that blend were. I basically started out with a piece of text. I hold all the option on my keyboard to make a duplicate and move it down. I scale it down a little bit and I just make the color a little bit darker. Make sure that it's on the fill. And now if we just select those two, you can just press Control Alt B on our keyboard. Go to the blend options. And as you can see, we now have a weird case where we need to revert the front to the back. So let's go back to the blend options. And there we go. We have some nice 3D text in a matter of seconds. So these are the basics of the blend tool for you. There's a whole lot more to it and I highly encourage you to start experimenting and playing around with the blend tool to see if you can create some really interesting shapes. If you want to see more Adobe Illustrator tutorials, don't forget to check out my channel because I have over hundreds of tutorials on graphic design and a lot of those are about Adobe Illustrator as well. While you're at it, leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel because that will actually really support me and in that way I can keep up the free tutorials for you guys every single week. With all of that being said, this is Tom from Dreadlabs tuning out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.